It's a night and day difference on the Patapsco River, going from this mangled mess to a channel that's almost clear. This will be the most expensive maritime tragedy in our nation's history. Now all eyes are on rebuilding the key bridge, which could cost nearly $2 billion. All $60 million was provided by the Federal Highway Administration initially. A lot more is needed to get the bridge back up. Today I rise to announce my introduction of the Baltimore Bridge Relief Act. And that's where this legislation, now being considered in Congress, comes in. To ensure the federal government covers 100% of the cost of rebuilding the Francis Scott Key Bridge, in a 100% cost share agreement. Governor Westmore has been meeting with lawmakers in D.C. for weeks now, as well as President Biden. His office says they've made strong progress advocating for Congress to act before the end of the year to give Maryland the certainty that the federal government will cover the full costs of rebuilding the bridge. They have been really kind of slow walking the progress or the legislation through. Stacy Lee, a professor at Johns Hopkins Business School, says so far it's not a slam dunk. Some of the pushback has come from conservative lawmakers that said that the key bridge is a state toll road. Brianna Gray, an assistant professor of government and politics with the University of Maryland, says there's also been some challenges with the logistics of the legislation. I think there are some hangups with making those those blanket promises um, without knowing exactly where the funding is going to come from. Even though the federal government has provided funding for emergencies like the I-35 bridge in Minneapolis back in 2007, the political landscape is different now. I think that there has been a lot in terms of the polarization of politics. So what happens if the bill doesn't pass? Well, in about six months, the federal government will still end up covering about 90% of the cost. That 10% is rather significant. 10% of $1.9 billion is $190 million, which is still a big bill for the state to foot. But the reason this cost share is so important is just simply because it allows us to move with the speed and the certainty that this mission requires. But despite the federal legislation still in limbo, with the cleanup nearing completion, the Maryland Transportation Authority is working to put together a team to rebuild the bridge. In fact, the Maryland uh, Transportation Administration has allotted between 15 and $20 million within the next six months to continue repairs on the bridge. Meaning a new view could soon be on the horizon. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.